You have just started the Fort Riley 2016 deer season pre-hunt briefing. The Fort Riley 2016 deer season dates and an overview of the rules and regulations that will be covered in this briefing can be found in the 2015 revision of the Fort Riley Outdoor Recreation Map and Regulation Summary and in the 2016 Fort Riley Deer Hunting Fact Sheet. Be sure to have a copy of both before heading into the field. These documents can be found here on the Fort Riley Ice Sportsman website or at the Fort Riley Environmental Division Office, Building 407, Pershing Court. At the conclusion of this briefing, you'll be given a short quiz. When you have successfully completed and passed the quiz, your ICE Sportsman account will be updated with your 2016 deer permit to reflect that you have taken and completed the briefing, allowing you to check in and out to hunt deer on Fort Riley. If you have any questions or problems with this process, please call the Fort Riley Environmental Division Office at 785 239-6211. During this briefing, you'll be prompted by a red pause button at the top left corner of your screen. It is recommended that you pause the video to completely read the material on the screen. Fort Riley falls into Kansas Deer Management Unit 8. The bag limits for whitetail deer are consistent with the state of Kansas. Two deer per hunter, one antler deer with an any season whitetail deer permit, and one antlerless deer with an antlerless only whitetail deer permit. Hunters may only harvest one antler deer in Kansas regardless of the methods of take. Each deer harvested must be immediately affixed with a valid Kansas deer tag per Kansas regulation. Firearms Registrations Fort Riley Regulation 190-1 requires that all firearms brought on post be registered with Fort Riley. Firearms must be registered regardless of military or civilian status. Firearms may be registered at the Visitor Control Center. For more information about the registration procedure, review the privately owned firearm guide under the Regulations tab from fortriley.isportsman.net. Hunting Procedures Fort Riley has an automated web check-in out system found here at fortriley.isportsman.net. If you need assistance in registering or using the system, please contact the Environmental Office. Failure to complete this process daily is a violation. Offenders may have hunting privileges suspended for 30 to 60 days. Upon registration, you'll be able to check in, check out on a daily basis using any personal device with internet access or by visiting the Army One-Stop Kiosk located at the Visitor Control Center or by visiting the Environmental Office Building 407 during normal business hours. Fort Riley Ice Sportsman registration and daily check in out is required to recreate in Fort Riley's training areas. A reminder, BlackBerry and smartphone users can check in, check out using fortriley.isportsman.net backslash kiosk for a faster service time. Fort Riley off-limits areas. The impact area and MPRC are off-limits at all times. Other areas may be off-limits during all or part of the deer season. Listings and or maps of off-limits areas will be posted on the Fort Riley Ice Sportsman website and at Building 407 during the deer season. Before recreating on Fort Riley, you must understand how to determine what areas are open, what areas are closed, and how to distinguish those areas from each other. From November 25th through the 27th, December 17th through the 23rd, and the 26th through the 27th, all maneuver areas east of Old Highway 77, which includes Bravo, Charlie, Echo, Foxtrot, India, Lima, Mike, and Papa, and the training area south of Vinton School Road 1 through 24, are shotgun, bow, or muzzleloader only. No rifles. A 350 daily deer hunter limit will be enforced during the firearm seasons, broken into three firearm management areas. East of Old Highway 77 will allow 135 hunters a day. West of Old Highway 77, 135 hunters a day. And south of Vinton School Road, 80 hunters a day. All fish and game harvested on Fort Riley should normally be cleaned and processed in the field where taken with the deposition of carcass and entrails being at least 100 feet from any road. Carcasses must not be disposed of in any live waterway that contains water or normally contains water to include ponds, lakes, creeks, rivers, and dry creek beds. All fish and game must be covered or otherwise completely concealed from view of those outside the vehicle while it is being transported on Fort Riley. Fish and game carcasses that are not taken directly to a processor off post must be completely covered from view at all times until completely consumed or otherwise properly disposed. Any parts of game, including fish entrails that are not properly deposited in an open recreational area, must be double bagged, tied shut, and disposed of in general refuse. 
During any Fort Riley firearms deer season, all individuals in a training or maneuver areas open to firearms deer hunting shall wear the following safety clothing at all times, which must be colored a blaze orange, a cap or hat, and an outer cover of a coat, vest, sweater, coveralls, or shirt. The outer cover must have at least 100 square inches of blaze orange colored surface visible on the front and at least 100 square inches of colored surface on the back at all times when they are not in a vehicle or building during a Fort Riley firearms deer season, including the traditional muzzleloader season, September 12th through 25, and the youth disabled season, September 3rd through 11, and October 7th through 10. A reminder, all deer hunters, archery, and firearms, and persons assisting them must meet state of Kansas blaze orange requirements during the Fort Riley firearms deer season. During time periods September 1 through May 31, all recreationists in a training or maneuver area that are not in a stationary position must wear at least one of the following articles of visible external apparel with at least 50% of its surface area solid blaze orange, a hat, cap, vest, coat, jacket, sweatshirt, shirt, or coveralls. Note, this includes any individual recreating on Fort Riley, including archery deer hunters, that are hunting throughout the season. Please pause and read carefully the next four slides on additional regulations you should know. Hunters must understand the capabilities of their equipment. A general rule of thumb is that a bullet should have 1,000 foot-pounds of kinetic energy to efficiently kill white-tailed deer or 1,500 foot-pounds to kill an elk. Please refer to the chart below to choose a caliber or gauge that fits your needs. Fort Riley recommends the centerfire calibers and gauges for deer hunting on Fort Riley. Quality Deer Management Which would you rather hunt? Quality deer management is a voluntary use of restraint in the harvesting of immature deer. QDM promotes healthy deer populations and good hunting. Implementation of QDM initiatives will continue on the installation in an effort to improve the overall average antler size and maturity of the Fort Riley deer herd. How can you help improve the Fort Riley deer herd? Learn to accurately assess the age and antler quality of a live white-tailed buck in a hunting situation. Voluntary Antler Restriction we are suggesting that you only harvest a buck with eight or more points, four points per antler, allowing one and a half and two and a half year old bucks another year to grow. Learn to accurately assess the age and sex of a live antlerless whitetail in a hunting situation. We would like to encourage the antlerless deer hunters to harvest adult does. This would allow the buck and doe fawns a chance to mature. Allowing these younger deer a chance to mature will achieve a more balanced age structure within the Fort Riley deer herd. The 2016 Fort Riley deer season antler restrictions are voluntary. We would like to encourage the hunters in pursuit of venison only, antlerless deer, to harvest mature deer. Success or failure of QDM will be due in large part to hunting restraint. Please consider the overall quality and health of our deer herd when harvesting your next deer. Wanted. Recent surveillance operations on Fort Riley has led to the prosecution of individuals stealing deer stands and blinds. If you have any information on stolen hunting equipment and or poaching, please contact the Fort Riley Operation Game Plan at 785-239-GAME. Anyone that provides information that leads to an arrest or a citation may be eligible for a reward provided by the Fort Riley Outdoorsman Group for $50 to $500. Conservation officers enforce the natural resource laws and ensure that conservation management programs are effective. Help protect Fort Riley's natural resource. Ethical hunting is expected of all recreation issues in Fort Riley. Acting in a disrespectful or unethical manner decreases the quality of hunt for yourself and others. This includes disrupting the rights of others to be in an open Fort Riley area. Please act respectfully and ethically while in the field on Fort Riley. You are encouraged to report harassment to the Fort Riley Game Warden section at 785-239-6767. Please remember, regardless of what season you hunt or the equipment you use, take some time prior to the hunt to sight your scope in or take some practice shots. Before squeezing the trigger or releasing your bow, make sure you have a good clear shot at the kill zone. 
hunt safe and good luck.